Hello, I'm Gus. Today I will be talking about air pollution. Air pollution is a serious issue in the world, but it's also an issue in Chicago. Chicago has a history of being polluted. There used to be so much smoke here that it literally blocked out the sun. But now, the pollution is not as visible, but it is still there. Carbon monoxide, lead, small particles, they're all floating around in the air and they are not good for you. This affects the nitrogen cycle and the carbon cycle. The carbon cycle is the one people usually talk about. Firstly, the removal of forests has caused depletion in plants and trees that absorb carbon dioxide. Also, humans cause great carbon emissions to the atmosphere by way of coal and oil combustion. These processes serve as generation of energy, but between 1870 and 1990, the carbon dioxide emissions to air have increased by 25% carbon dioxide levels in the air are now so high that the uptake by plants and oceans is just not fast enough. Air pollution issues can also be caused by interfering with the nitrogen cycle in several ways. During fuel combustion, various compounds are released, among which nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen oxides react with oxygen in air so that nitrous oxide gas is formed. Nitrous oxide is a greenhouse gas which enhances the Earth's temperature when it is present in the atmosphere can also react with the ozone in the atmosphere so that the ozone layer is broken down. This layer protects the earth from UV radiation. If the ozone layer is broken down, humans and animals can experience serious sunburns and skin cancer. Nitrogen dioxide might also react with hydrogen in the atmosphere to form nitric acid. Nitric acid causes acid deposition which can damage trees and marine ecosystems due to increases in the pH of soil and water. When people want to grow new farmland, they often burn parts of forests because the ground underneath these forests is very fertile. When the wood is burned, more nitrogen dioxide escapes into the air, 